Hello YouTubers. So uh, let's talk about um, variables and scope of variables. So when you declare a variable, um, it has a visibility and accessibility. Okay, so the visibility and accessibility is referred as the scope of the variable. That is dependent on where you, um, where you declare your variable. So let's just say that we declare a variable within the brackets of the uh, class program. So let's just say we're going to declare uh, integer variable here x and we're going to assign a value of 10 okay and then um, so the scope of this variable x is anywhere between this bracket and that bracket okay so anything that we put in between these two brackets will have access to the x uh, to the x variable um, if we declare something inside the uh, main function okay uh, let's just say int y equals um, 20 then the scope and accessibility of this variable is only within the uh, main function here so let me go ahead and create a second function here um, so then we can prove all this so now that I have created this function number two here let's let's see if we can access this so let's go to main um, x which is this variable it's right there so let's do console dot right line x and then let's do the same in this function which I also have access to and let's call that function from there from the main function let's see what happens when we run this application there you go so this is what's happening uh, when I first call the application when I run it it goes directly into the main function that's the first that's that's the entry function of the program um, it writes the value of X but the value of X was not declared inside the main function was outside the main function but just follow me here so since the main functions is within the class then the variables that are declared at the class level have access um, uh, are accessible from the main function now it's the same thing for function number two here so it writes the line so but let's let's follow here so uh, console line let's bring that back up console write line X and then calls function number two which goes in here and he writes line X so both the same value and then the console reads so it's just waiting for it let's go ahead and then uh, terminate that let's go ahead and display the value of uh, Y here console dot write line Y and now let's do the same let's display the value so what do you think you think we can display the value of Y in here the Y was created inside the main function and now we're inside a second function here so let's say console dot right line why why doesn't exist is oh you can't see on the intelligence but why does not exist inside the function here so we can actually create a variable in here which would not be conflicting let's apply the value of 22 to it let's go ahead and run that program again so what's going on here we start the program it goes inside the main function writes the value of X which is this and then writes the value of Y which was created inside the main function and we assign the value of 20 which is that and then calls function number two so we go we go inside function number two we create a var variable called Y and we assign the value of 22 uh, function number two displays the value of X which which is 10 but also display the value of Y which is 22 okay so the, the the scope and visibility of y is different um, from the main function and the function number two hopefully this is not too confusing um, if you have any questions uh, please go ahead and ask thank you <clears throat> excuse me actually I change I changed the program really quick and I'm gonna run it again uh, so maybe that will make it just a little bit more clear so value of X from within main is 10 
value of y from within main. In main, I'm referring to this part right here. This is the main. This is the main function. This is function number two. Okay. So the value of y from within main is twenty. Um, value of x from within function two is ten, and value of y from within function two is twenty-two. So hopefully that makes things a little bit more clear. Again, if you have any questions, uh, ask, subscribe, rate the video. Thank you for watching.